In the year 2008, former Comoros President Sambi passed a law allowing the sale of passports and was accused of embezzling millions of dollars under the scheme which was since referred to as economic citizenship scandal. The prosecution said the cost was more than $1.8 billion, which is more than the impoverished nation's GDP. During the trial, Eric Emmanuel Sosa, who is a lawyer for civilian plaintiffs, said, and I quote, they gave thugs the right to sell Comorian nationality as if they were selling peanut, end of quote. But Sambi's lawyer, Jean Gilles Halimi, said there is no evidence of this money since no account was discovered. Sambi refused to attend the trial as his lawyers said there were no guarantees he would be judged fairly. He appeared once with his defense asking the judge to recast himself since he had previously sat on the panel that decided to indict him. The ruling by the State Security Court, a special judicial body, cannot be appealed. The former leader was originally prosecuted for corruption, but the charges were reclassified as high treason, a crime that does not exist in Comorian law, according to his lawyer Halimi. Sambi had already spent four years behind bars before he faced trial, far exceeding the maximum eight months. He was originally placed under house arrest for disturbing public order. He is an opponent to current president Azali Asumani.